I wanted to do a quick little um, get ready with me while I get ready on a work trip. Today will be the most simple because it's like install day for my event. So since I'll be moving around, possibly sweating, I'm also in San Francisco where I heard it can rain one minute and then be fine the next. So I'm not gonna do anything too extreme because I'm definitely walking to my venue every day. Um, and so let's go ahead and apply a little bit of a primer. Of course, I already washed and moisturized my face. I'm super tired, so my skin needs every ounce of hydration it can get. I'm going to then apply my MAC um, strobe cream. Sometimes I put this directly on my skin, sometimes I mix it in with my foundation. Today I'm gonna just put it on my skin. This is the peach color. I'm gonna use Morphe. This is my first time using this um, eye, eyebrow um, pomade from Morphe. So I'm excited to see how it does. Very soft and creamy. Okay, so so far I think it's nice. I mean, it's it's just like the pomade that I use with Anastasia. The only difference I will say, and this could be because my skin's freshly hydrated. Um, usually after I put on moisturizer and things, I do try to let it seep in, but being on a work trip, you're always under a time crunch and I don't have time to wait for it. Um, so my skin is super like still wet. So maybe that's why it does feel like it's extra movable right now, which you don't really want your eyebrows to move on you <laughs> or smear. So um, I will test it again after I actually do have time to like let my skin absorb the hydrating creams that I put on it um, before doing eyebrows. But I think, you know, I forgot how much it is individually because I bought the kit all together. The kit was $18. Anastasia, the pomade I used before this was either $28 or $18 for the pomade. Either way, one thing for $18 versus I think $4 or $5 because I got the, the pomade, a pencil in the same color, which is awesome for on-the-go fixing and, and all that stuff. Um, and then... Um, a high a highlighting pin. I guess I could use that today. Let's give that a try. I was just about to put on my concealer for my brow structure, but this is supposed to be like an on-the-go, like stick version. Or if you just don't want to do the most with like a brush and cream, you could use this as your full version and my brush here is a little wet so everything's just not dry yet <laughs> for right up under the brow it's fine but I definitely wouldn't go any further than that because it's a little too light for my skin tone That's good. and it's just made to help you like clean up your brow so if like I was in the car or like if this was a beach vacation, I would definitely just use something like this and then like blend it out. So you don't wear like full makeup. And I'm using, this is the Morphe concealer. I bought this brush kit as well. It came with this little concealer blending brush, which I really like. It's like a powder puff in a mini and since I'm not doing any eyeshadow I've just put a little concealer I'm sorry a little translucent powder on this to set it I set it so the lines in my eyes don't my eyelid don't produce moisture and then like have that creasy effect which a lot of women have, I've noticed. 
And I just want to tell them, set your concealer. Set whatever you put on your eyelid. So that doesn't happen. Voila, we're done with eyes because that's literally all I'm doing today. I will put on lashes maybe, but no, no eyeshadow. And for eyeliner, I bought like a really cheap pencil because I love a pencil on the go. Whether you buy expensive or inexpensive, just make sure you remember to put the lid on your pomade. I always forget and it always dries out on me. The Anastasia did anyway. I don't know if this will, because again, this is my first time using it. So I matched this, I grabbed this pretty much in a hurry too. I didn't have any like matching and going on. I put it on my hand, held it up to my face. I don't suggest doing that. I suggest taking your time. But this was the day before I was supposed to be here out of town and I knew I needed makeup, so grab and go. Let's see. Not bad. So it looks like the Huda Beauty that I have um, that was closest to my color as well. It's really warmer than I am, but it's close without going too cool and too um, deep, too chocolatey. So since it is warmer, I will have to color correct with my concealer and contour as the best as can, I can. But the coverage looks great. If you wanted to build it up even more, you could. I'm really just slapping it on right now. It's really red. <laughs> I probably, next time I buy, I probably would get a slightly different color because I'm sure they have something better. They have a ton of colors. So this is really my bad, but I do like the foundation seems like a good mix between light and buildable coverage is good feels good doesn't smell weird to me anyway has no real scent so I'm gonna use I'm gonna go quickly and use this max stick for my first little color correcting concealer. This is a Studio Fix um, concealer stick and it's great for when you're on the go or in the hurry. Like this might be all that I need for today since again I'm not doing anything where I need to be super snatched. This plus a powder contour versus a cream contour um, to again have a quick turnaround should be all that I need. So I do have the Maybelline Fit Me, the same mocha that I always use to contour and a powder brush. I did not have the room to pack a light this trip. So I hope you guys can see. If not, I will pack a light next time, I promise. I'm using the RCMA um, translucent powder to set real quick. the Morphe setting spray. Don't need much today. So my signature lip, if y'all haven't figured out by now, is 
Club Hopper or a brown liner. Club Hopper is from NYX. A peach or a nude in the middle. I use P Pure Zen by MAC. And a clear gloss to mix it all together. I'm gonna move this um, camera here in a second when, when I put these lashes on so you guys can get a better view or better lighting, I should say. Not that this look is like extra perfect, because it's definitely not, but I don't think you guys can see me very well at all. Okay, so yeah, this is my quick work look. Um, ran into a couple hiccups, but I think we're good. And I wish I could have this like view the whole time I'm doing my makeup. I'll see if there's a way for me to move this desk any further than I already did, but I ended up unplugging some stuff. So I don't know if the hotel's gonna like that. Um, but yeah, so I will check in with you guys later. Um, I'll try to film more stuff for you. And yeah, leave me some comments below on what your go-to travel work look is. And um, if you have any other questions, comments, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.